Hi, this is Saili Pansi Shalikeri. In the last vlog, we have seen what not to copy, but it is equally important to understand what to copy. With an intention of following a typical gharana, that is the style, singers sometimes misinterpret the principles. For example, in a particular gharana, the singers sing in a heavy and resonating voice. Followers just try to copy the voice by lowering the pitch or applying excessive force or manipulating the tone. These voices might sound alike but aren't effective as former singers. This being the mistaken identity, the voice loses its natural tone and gets damaged eventually. The elements of voice and gaiki have to be understood and the principles have to be copied, not the voice or the singing style. For example, singers often confuse the openness in voice with a loud and uncontrolled voice. It is justified by a big round akar with a loudness and lots of attacks and jerks and force in it. Openness actually refers to the open tone with no constriction and a good resonance. The resonance is mistaken as faulty pronunciations. Tone refers to the natural sound quality of the voice, which students often try to manipulate by copying the guru's voice. Range is not something that can be copied, but it is copied by stretching the voice with strain. The pitch or the scale is copied which can be different from the guru. The style of riyas is copied which should be different in every individual according to our own capacity. The excessive use of gamak, loud voice, widely open mouth, overstressed pronunciations of notes, too much jerks and some wrong ways of giving importance to that aspect. These things take away the musicality and also might harm the voice in long run. So make sure you understand the principles and copy them in a right way. Once you understand them, sky is the limit. All the best. I will be talking about warming up of the voice in my next video. So keep following. Thanks. See you again. Namaste.